What's up everyone, Pierre from Into Fly Fishing and it finally happened. We finally got our hands on the Thomas & Thomas Contact 2. I can't tell you how long I've wanted to review and test this rod and give you my thoughts on it and it finally happened, so let's go. This specific rod is the 10 foot 3 weight version and it is a prototype, so it was one of the prototypes that was used during development. It has exactly the same blank as the new version just with some of the older cosmetics and that's why you'll see that it still just says contact. Um, I just want to give a huge shout out to Andrew from Upstream Fly Fishing who borrowed me um, his own personal rod which is this one for a test and review. Um, if you're ever in Cape Town and looking for great advice, great products or um, exceptional guided trips to the streams for trout or even out um, into the salt water just give them a shout and they'll help you out. Seeing that no specific brand or shop sent me this rod to get something out of it, um, I don't think a disclaimer is necessary. However, if you're new to our channel, I just want to go through what we do. So we are sent rods, reels and gear and um, we provide reviews and we fish them and we create videos with them. But we are in no way obliged or obligated or influenced to give uh, positive reviews if we don't really think that the gear is up to it. The thoughts and opinions shared on these reviews are purely our own and um, the manufacturers or shops aren't influencing us in any way. Now let's look at where the rod was fished and tested. I'm seeing it that is a rod on the lighter side of things, a 10 foot 3 weight version. We chose to take it to our local streams, um, yet again where we do most of our um, videos, and that is on the trout streams close to Cape Town. These rivers are relatively small and very technical, um, and the fish range in the 7 to 15 inch um, size. Sometimes you get bigger fish, a lot of other times, especially in the beginning of the season, you get smaller fish, but that's generally the target species that we fish for. I have two reels with me. Um, firstly, the Shilton CR3, spooled with a Hot Flies River Speed nymphing line. The other reel was the Vision um, XLV nymph reel that was spooled with Vision's Ultralight nymph line, which I really, really like. I actually prefer that between the two because it just feels like a normal fly line a little bit more so you can cast a little bit further and we just fished standard um, urine nymphing leaders attached to them um, and that would include a 4x a long piece of 4x or 3x tippet um, running to a bicolor sighter and a tippet ring from there i fished 6x monofilament um, stroft which is a brand uh, from germany stroft tippet um, up to two flies so the thing is with these cape streams um, that the fishing changes a lot during the day, um, especially during summer where it gets really, really warm. So we're fishing dry fly and dry and dropper in the early mornings and late afternoon. And then as the day really warms up, we go to um, urine nymphing. So this is where we really test the rod at sensitivity. Then we nymph in deep runs where the fish hold to the bottom. So let's look at where the Thomas & Thomas Contact 2 shines. Um, there are really a ton of great things to say about this rod. I mean, it's, it's, it's a rod coming in at $855, I think. So the componentry is really well thought out and of top-notch quality. The build quality is exceptional. So all of that is a big tick. You don't have to worry about that. But, but something that really stood out to me is how versatile it is. And when I originally thought that it was just a urine nymphing rod, um, I thought that it might be limiting to make longer casts. Not necessarily long casts like 60 foot and up. I'm talking about 30 to 35 feet around there, dry fly cast, fish with single dries, fish with slightly larger um, streamers, all of that sort of stuff that you need on the river to, to make yourself a more diverse angler and really adapt to the scenarios. And this rod really does that well. As mentioned earlier, it throws dry flies well, tandem dry flies. So sometimes I'll fish two dry flies, especially if the last one is so small that you can't really see it. Um, it throws tandem nymphs well. Um, it, it, even if you're fishing two nymphs and the one is really small and light, so like a merger, it even throws that very well. So it really does everything that a small stream angler would want it to do if you have space to um, flick a 10-foot rod around. 
Now let's look at where the contact to might fall short. So the only thing that I can really say, and this is the only reason why you're not seeing more of them around, um, is because of its price. It really is a premium rod. So as, as mentioned, it's $855 for the down locking version. I think 880, I think is a surcharge for up locking real seat. Saying that, if you look at other premium Euronymphing rods, this rod is actually very good value because it, it's about $140 less than those rods. So if you're in the market for a premium rod, this is really a great option. Now let's look at the rod's details to see what makes it tick. Um, the rod is shipped in a blue powder coated aluminum tube. Because this is a prototype, we do not have a tube, but I can assure you it is shipped with a solid aluminum tube um, that really helps to keep your investment safe. All the rods details are noted on the top with a sticker so it says it says contact 2 and um, the line weight and, and the serial number. Inside the tube you'll find this rod sock which is a very high quality cotton and it um, has four sections um, dividers one for each section of the rod. Going over the rod itself let's start here at the base of the butt section. Um, you'll find a nice small compact fighting butt are made from exceptional quality cork as you'd expect from Thomas and Thomas and it combines a rubberized cork ring you're at the base um, which just provides a little bit more durability so this is obviously not there to help you when you fight the fish it's not like a big salt water fighting but um, the main purpose of this um, is to give yourself to give the angler a little bit of an anchor point while you're busy high sticking it just makes it more comfortable um, and that's the reason why, why Thomas and Thomas chose to include it. As mentioned earlier, the Contact 2 is available in both an up-locking and a down-locking configuration. As standard, um, it is supplied in down-locking configuration, which um, just positions the weight of the reel as far back as possible. Um, and that just balances the whole rig. Better seeing that you're fishing with extremely long rod, a 10-foot rod, or, or sometimes even more. If you are really looking for a up locking version if you prefer that um, you can purchase a rod or order a rod at an additional charge the skeleton on both up and down locking version is made from black aluminum although on our prototype it is the original contact sort of gun smoke color the ring that secures the reel has the thomas and thomas logo a laser engraved to it and it has a single locking ring the contact 2 has a reverse wells grip and what's interesting is um, if you look closer to it, especially if you've used the grip a little bit, is you'll notice that the rings that it's made from, the cork rings, are thinner than the usual, I think, half an inch or something like that, but it might be an eighth of an inch. And the effect that you then get is because the rings are shorter and technically there's more glue that secures them in place, epoxy that secures them in place, you really get a very firm and solid hard feeling grip now this will really last you a long time but the other thing that it does is because it's so secure it feels like it transfers a lot of detail um, and and feeling from the rod um, the grip will really last you a long time and i think that um, this shape will suit people with both small and large hands it's a very it's a very it hit the sweet spot I think grips are very often overlooked in Euronymphing rod design because you're trying to get that sensitivity to detect the takes. If you have a very chunky grip, it takes away so much feeling um, and I've seen so many cheaper rods suffer this. I mean, you see rods that are really well made or good Euronymphing rods generally have finer um, grips so it really gives you that information back. It's something to consider when you're looking at other Euronymphing rods too. The heart of the Contact 2 is it's blank and it's made from five different carbon and fiberglass materials or fibers. Um, it's pretty strange that um, fiberglass is included in especially such a high-end rod, but Thomas and Thomas have done that, keeping the rod very light or relatively light and very sensitive. I think the inclusion of the fiberglass, I'm not 100% sure why that would be, but my opinion is that it really makes the rod feel a lot more durable. And other um, premium rods. Another area where you can see the contact to is a rod on a other level or next level is the line guides. 
um, all of the line guides except the uh, first stripper guide and the tip top and the line guide just below the tip top all the other line guides are single foot recoil guides so what that means is if you press them so if something pushes up against them um, on a boat or, or anywhere um, they would deform but as soon as you leave them they would bounce right back so it just makes it much more durable one of the other improvements of the contact tube versus the original is the placement of the first stripper guide it is now placed on the butt section of the rod and um, which just helps to reduce the line sag on our prototype as i mentioned we've got the contact tube blank the build on the rod is like the original contact and so that really introduced a lot more slack but the new contact tube has the stripper guide placed so much further back so once you high stick from there to here there's a lot less slack than um, the stripper guide would be on the second section. Now to the finish of the rod. Thomas & Thomas rods have a reputation for being very well made and extreme attention to detail and the contact to um, is no different. What I really like about it though is that it's very understated, it's not very flashy and it doesn't shout to get your attention. The blank is unsanded so you can feel the carbon coils or the fiberglass and carbon coils and the line guys are secured with brown thread wraps. There are no dedicated alignment dots but um, each section has the rod serial number written on it and these serial numbers align with the line of the line guides line of the line of the line guides so you can use those um, serial numbers to quickly help you set up the rod and get on the water faster the clear coat as you'd expect is applied extremely well and there's no signs of bubbles or discoloration you can see that the person who does this really knows what they're doing so let's look at my personal thoughts on the Thomas & Thomas Contact 2 10 foot 3 weight. On the pro side, the rod is extremely versatile. It allows you to fish in so many different ways. Single drive, dry dropper, euro nymphing, throw a streamer, cast relatively far, cast and fish very, very close, make very delicate casts, accurate casts under a branch. It really does everything well. It actually has a lot of pulling power so I think you can target fish slightly bigger than other other three weight rods with it but I think that might be where the fiberglass fibers also come into play that you especially from the butt section you feel that there's a lot more power if you prefer rods that are built by hand in the States be rest assured the Thomas & Thomas contact 2 is the rod also comes with a lifetime warranty against defects in materials or craftsmanship um, just make sure that if you do choose to buy it, that you activate this warranty with Thomas & Thomas with the serial number um, within 30 days after your purchase. As mentioned earlier, there's not a lot of negative things about the rod. Sure, the price is really on the steep side, but the chances are that if you're looking at this video, you already know what the financial implication will be. And if you compare this rod to other premium rods out there, um, you'd actually see that it's quite good value. I would say the biggest con about it is that I don't have one in my personal arsenal. So who should consider buying the Thomas & Thomas Contact to 10 foot 3 weight rod? First, let's look at who should consider buying a 10 foot 3 weight rod. Um, the first would be the 10 foot. So 10 foot length is very popular in um, competition and uranium angling because it does two things really well. The first thing is that it allows you to fish um, longer leaders legally. So if you're into competitive angling, um, your leader length, or so from the end of your fly line to your last fly is allowed to be twice the length of your rod. So if you're fishing a seven foot rod, you're only allowed to fish a 14 foot leader. But if you're fishing a 10 foot rod, you can go up to 20 feet, which really makes a big difference because leader material has a lot less drag um, than fly line. So this is why competitive anglers prefer longer rods. The other big reason why 10 foot rod is so popular or is so useful for urine thing is that it allows you to reach much further. So if you're fishing once again a 7 foot rod and you're fishing there's a, two boulders and you have to reach across it, it's really hard um, to reach and keep in direct contact with your flies. Whereas with a 10 foot rod or even longer allows you to reach over them and you can control your drift very very accurately and that is really what catches fish 
once you deliver the correct fly in the correct spot, how does the fly move? Does it move naturally? Does it move um, unnaturally? You know, all of those things. And, and this rod helps you, a 10 foot rod helps you to manage that drift. And now to the question of the three weight 10 foot. Um, a three weight 10 foot rod is, in my opinion, the new nine foot five weight. Nine foot five weight is one of those rods that you, you fish. It's your general trout rod. You fish lakes with it. You fish rivers with it. You can fish dropper, dry dropper. You can fish big streamers. You can fish dry flies. And the 10 foot three weight is, in my opinion, the new nine foot five weight. Um, it allows you to open yourself to so many different fishing opportunities. And it is actually just as powerful as a five weight. You're in the butt section. But you have the added benefit of the sensitive and soft tip, so it helps you to protect a lot lighter tippet material. So if you find yourself fishing um, tippet material in the 4 to 6x, sometimes even 7x range, 10 foot 3 weight is the way to go. So now to the question if this specific rod, the Thomas & Thomas Contact 2, is the correct rod for you, who should consider buying it? If you are looking for a rod to buy it once and fish with it for the next 20 years, or you're looking for a premium rod, this is a great option. I have no problem recommending it at all. If, however, you feel that it is such a push, I mean, you're taking away food off the table just to afford it, I would say hold off, throttle back. There are really good rods in the $300 to $500 range that will that will do the same thing. Um, it's not going to be as nice, but if they will do the same thing, then I would say rather look at those options. But if you're in the market for something really nice and you have the cash, I say go for it. I hope that you found this review helpful and that I've left you with a better idea of what the Thomas & Thomas Contact 2 is all about. If you have any comments or, or questions or even suggestions on how we can improve these videos, or reviews uh, please leave them in the comment section down below if you own one of these rods let me know what you think even if it's the old contact 2 if you've owned both please let me know how the contact 2 is better for you what your thoughts are I would love to hear them please subscribe to our channel and turn on the notifications then we can let you know as soon as we release any future reviews tutorials or vlogs until next time Cheers